Okay, now to our top local story tonight. After a fire destroyed the main building at the Ardioli car dealership on Friday, 22 News has learned tonight they're back open. 22 News reporter Kate Wilkinson is live in Springfield with how the family-owned business in Enfield is making it happen. The owner said it's been a busy weekend trying to get everything back and rolling, but they're already serving customers once again. The phones are back on at the Ardioli car dealership and people are looking in the lot for a new car. It's only days after this fire destroyed this main building here on Friday. No one was hurt, but this is what's left. Bob Ardioli is a second generation owner. He said the hardest part has been getting service and parts back and running. We have a couple of separate buildings uh, right around here where we're able to set up new lifts um, and get that up and running by uh, Tuesday after Memorial Day weekend. They're planning to tear down this building soon and replace it with a new one. But Bob said that this place, it's a family owned site and it carries a lot of memories for him. Again, I apologize. It's... Yeah, you know, since I was, you know, five years old, I was here, you know, with the guys washing cars, sitting on the stoop with the parts guys, uh, the salesman playing football with me with a little pay, you know, I, I grew up here. Bob said insurance has been cooperative and he feels confident it will be able to cover the costs to rebuild and cover employees. What he's truly amazed by, how members of the community have reached out to help. Hundreds of messages, just can't answer fast enough the people that have reached out. I've gotten 300 whatever you need messages um, from customers, from friends. It's, it's, it's overwhelming, it is. The cause of the fire is still under investigation by both the local fire department there as well as the Connecticut State Fire Marshal's office. Review live in Springfield, Kate Wilkinson, 22 News.